David and Virginia and I, you know, we, we all liked the idea of doing a movie at some point down the road. It was just a matter of kind of finding, finding the time and also, you know, really s trying to be smart and objective about it and say, will this work? So one day we're sitting around and uh, he said, you know, it's time to do the Corner Gas movie. And I went, no, nah, it's not time. You've got too much other stuff going on. And then I went away and thought about it for a couple of weeks. And I phoned Virginia and I said, Brent wants to do the movie. And um, Virginia went, yes, let's go. 2014 was the goal. Like we literally wrote it down. 2014, we should shoot. And here we are. It's 2014 and we shoot and we release. And it, it all came together. Is this something about my height? Because I'm too tall. Oh, I'm too tall. Hey, let's do this more often. The challenge of taking it from the TV series to the feature film was coming up with a script that was going to be a feature film script and not just another episode of Corner Gas, only 90 minutes long. A movie needs to have stakes. It needs to have more emotional clout. But Corner Gas is also known to be this breezy, light, nothing going on type of comedy. So, um, so there was a lot of effort put in to getting the movie right. So we did raise the stakes and we found um something that was realistic you know you don't want to have a meteor hurtling towards the city or alien invasions or something let me get this straight you invested the town's money in real estate in detroit it was really cheap i didn't think it could get any cheaper it can by the way it's really about the town i think it's really about the town of dog river is in a, a situation that i think a lot of rural communities find themselves in where they're they're right on that cusp of having to decide whether to try and find a way to rally and save the town or just let it go and let it just become a ghost town and everybody move on and do, go their separate ways. Everything in my life, good or bad, has happened around this gas station. That's all I know. It's okay. You're not just four walls and some pumps. There's a lot more to you than that. Is that a fat joke? Yeah. Virginia, Brent, and I have got a great relationship, and you can see it seep down through everything, right? And we, we're all, we all have our skills, and we all play to our strengths. Everybody trusts each other. Um, everybody knows their space and place within it, and it just works beautifully. It's just an unusual combination of people who play to their strengths. And uh, I think that's one of the things that makes Corner Gas so successful. Just hanging out with some legends. Don't mind me. That's how I roll. Brent is great at being kind of the front man and um, uh, being humorous and funny for the, you know, for the for publicity and, and interviews and things. But he's also a great writer and a great performer. All right, I'll open up a tab. Only because I need the money. And I like free drinks. But I don't like you. So I'm going to be serving you with this face. I, emotionally, within a certain parameter, I think I can make it seem real. The smart move here is to make this character as close to me as possible because then I will know how to react, and when I react to something, it will more likely be real. I got a million ideas on how to capitalize on this. With my brains and your money, we can't miss. Yeah, but you don't have my money or much of the other stuff. I didn't want to kneecap my own show by trying to do something that was outside of my scope of ability, so I just thought, make them like me. Because I've been so busy trying to pick everything up around here, I haven't had a chance to... Whoa. How did you know? Seriously? The pace was a, a little slower. We were doing fewer pages per day. For me personally, it was a, it was a much slacker pace because 
you know, I only had one job to do really while we were shooting the movie, and that was to act in the movie. A lot of my duties are done ahead of time. Another batch of my duties won't be done till after. All right, then, let's do this. I got to sit down and kind of go on Twitter, go on Instagram, kick around, you know? I have to do what I say. They don't want to do what I say, but I'm going to convince them to do what we need to do. Virginia has great skill set and uh, as a producer and um, is great at sort of the big picture um, overall look of where the feature's going and fan engagement and publicity and getting the movie out there. She's got a fantastic skill set. Of the team of Brent, David and myself, my role on Corner Gas is very much the producer producer. Um, and that means wearing a lot of hats being involved in the story development, making sure that there's a team around Brent providing notes on the story. Um, then I get into financing, and I typically love seeing a script before I finance because I have a hard time asking people for money. Um, but when I know the script is really great, then I don't have a problem because I'm defending something that I truly believe in. So we're going to walk the plank again mm -hmm. because that's what I do. I strive everywhere. Ooh. Okay, we have to find Alicia. There's only one phone that works in the producer trailer. This is the producer trailer. Oh, just before you close the door. And there is a producer, Victoria Woods. Going in. Hello. Isn't she cute? <laughs> She's lovely. She's very smart. She watches the money, thank goodness, because if I watched the money, there wouldn't be any money. <laughs> one of my jobs is to sign the checks. But I always ask Brandy, do we have enough money in the bank so that these checks will all clear? And so far, we've never bounced a check. Thank you. Rolling sound, please. Rolling. Rolling, rolling. I don't have a walkie-talkie, and I don't have a phone. Because Alicia has the only phone that works. I do more than finding people on this show. I promise that you do more. Alicia. Yes. Close the phone. Go to the Thanks. Hey, he hasn't called yet. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to see What? That was Brad Reg. He's in the circle. He's in the circle. I just gave her a heart attack. So this is our page. Right, right, right. And on a lot of where right. it pulls up, this is our main page. It's just, it's got a... So we've been getting people, I would say on average, three people a day. I love marketing. Um, well, I actually love reaching people. The VIP event in Saskatoon. Well, we're going to be doing a charity event. I think that's going to be so exciting. You put a story out there, but from my perspective, if nobody's watching your story, then I don't quite understand why we're making the story to begin with. We want people to be engaged. Brent hands Lacey dipstick and heads off. Kickstarter Katrina leans out. Can you check the oil? No. Can you? That was very good. Thank you. I can tell that you're trained. <laughs> And to show your gratitude, you can finish up for me here. I got a ton of stuff I got to do at the bar. Can you check the oil? Huh? No. <laughs> can you? Ready and action, 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 and action. And let's hear some music to get the mood. All right, let's try a little rehearsal here. Oh, yeah, that's better. Let's see your head. Oh, yeah. I'm a dirty old man. <laughs> <laughs> and dirty old man. Our idiot son left me hanging in a tree. And Karen stole my horse. <laughs> and cut. Good. My job is to make the movie and to make sure that it all, that the performances are there and that the, the camera angles are there and we're telling the story. And so when I approach it, I approach it from this is better be a kick-ass movie, right? Yeah, let's put her, oh, that's what we're going to go with, is the wine glass? All right, here we go. Ready and action. And lights. Oh, for the love of Pete. And cut, good. Well, I think my strengths are I know how to inspire everybody and get everybody moving and going and get the day and keep a light and happy tone on set. Yeah, oh yeah, well, I've... Booze, not real booze, yeah. fake booze. Was I hammered? First question. Well, for 
<laughs> like, well, you know, you're right. Mm. Candy is dandy. Everybody in the voice is there just pleasure. I can't believe it. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So what happens now? Well, we really only have two choices. I think I'm great at getting a look for a show and at great at telling a story and working with the actors. I mean, I think those are my strengths. Surprise! Well, welcome home. <laughs> Have like a couple of mugs of beer. Sure, yeah, whatever tray. you want. A couple of mugs couple are of fine. Mugs of beer would be we'll, great. We, we'll just try and make this as dynamic as we can yeah. based on the fact that we're just going to be locked into here. Yeah. 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 We're going to sell the house and I'm going to move to the whoa, city. Whoa, whoa, you don't want to do that. There's plenty of detectiving to do right here. It's just exciting to get those shots, right? You get a shot and a scene. We just did a scene out here where uh, Brent and Lacey and Oscar and Emma are in front of the gas station and it's all shut down. And you nail that scene and it looks beautiful and the sun's going down and, you know, you get it in the bed. There's nothing, there's, it's a great feeling to be able to accomplish that. Generations of Leroy's have built this business from the ground up. Actually, your great uncle won it in a card game. Used to be a bakery. I felt like doing a movie was something that we owed to the fans in a way, and that we owed to the project itself. People who find this show special, that this show is a part of their life. I want them to be satisfied with the movie and go, that was great, that was a lot of fun. Okay, one, two, one, two three, 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 jackass! <laughs> I'm just really proud we made this movie, and I'm excited by the movie. I hope everybody loves it.